Dear student, this is Kamru Nahar. Today I am going to discuss about the topic absorption of water and mineral salt under chapter 3. This is a very important process that always occur in plant life. Definition of absorption. The process by which living cell of the plant body intake water and mineral salt Dissolved in water is generally known as absorption. So, we have to know that plant cannot take water by the living cell directly. First, plant absorb water by root hair through osmosis process. And then, the water flows from one cell to another cell through osmosis process. And plant cannot intake mineral salt directly. Plant always intake mineral salt in the form of ion. That means mineral salt dissolve in water. Then plant intake the salt in the form of ion through osmosis process by the root here. Now Mechanism of water absorption in plant. There are some difference between lower plants and higher plant in case of intake of water. Through the whole plant body, lower plant intake water or water absorption in lower plant take place by the process of osmosis through the whole body. Lower plant intake water through the whole body. And in higher plant, the mechanism of water absorption occur through root hair. There is a big difference between higher plant and lower plant. Lower plant intake water through the whole body of the plant. And in case of higher plant, the mechanism of water absorption occur through the root hair. Plant absorb water. Basically, capillary water from the soil. What is capillary water? You have to know that after rainfall, water is absorbed through the soil by the force of gravitation. And water is, uh, uh, the water those are absorbed underground is known as gravitational water because the wat uh, those water are forced by the gravitation. When those water, that means gravitation water is drained what, and drained out, then some water remains in through the among the soil grain. That is in the form of a thin layer. Those water are called capillary water. I am repeating. The water, those are found within the soil grain after the drainage of gravitational water is known as capillary water. Plant absorb those capillary water and in capillary water, mineral salt are dissolved in the form of ion and plant also intake those ion. So capillary water is very important. Here are the mechanism of water absorption in plant. Water is absorbed by two process, basically imbibition and osmosis. Imbibition is a very important process. You have to know that plant body contains various colloidal substances. Those are starch, gelatin, cellulose, etc. Those colloidal substances are hydrophilic. That means they can absorb water. And those hydrophilic substances absorb water. And this process is known as imbibition. So, plant body contains colloidal substances. Those are hydrophilic. And those hydrophilic substances, the colloidal substances, absorb water is known as imbibition. So, water absorption occur 
through imbibition process and water enters through osmosis in the plant uh, in the root here so water enters in the root here and the water that water flows from one cell to another cell through osmosis and reaches to the leaves through xylem vessel of the stem you have to know that it is clear that water is absorbed through as uh, imbibition and another process is the water enters through osmosis in the root here and that water enters to the living cell of the plant body and water flows from one cell to another cell through osmosis during this process we know that cell wall between two cell act as semi permeable membrane semi permeable means only water can flows from one cell to another so water enters through osmosis in the root here and that water also flows from one cell to another through osmosis and reaches to the leaves that means top of the plant through xylem vessel of the stem so there are two process one is imbibition the uh, by imbibition water is absorbed and through root here in the process of osmosis water enters into the plant body here is the diagram showing the root here zone region of water absorption this is the region of water absorption root here zone and here is the process of absor uh, absorption of water by root cell through osmosis water is absorbed in the root here and here it is going and this is the xylem tissue and from xylem tissue we have said that water goes to the top of the plant that means it reaches to the leaf now there is another process that is the mechanism of mineral absorption in plant mineral is absorbed in the form of ion the mineral absorption process is divided into two parts one is active other is inactive active absorption in which the plant root here involved directly and in case of inactive absorption the water is pulled from the transpiration without the active involvement of the root cell that means there is the basic difference that in case of active absorption plant root here absorb water directly and in case of inactive absorption the absorption process involves the pull of transpiration without the active involvement of the root cell here the water is absorbed by the pool from transpiration without active involvement of the root cell and in case of active absorption the total process process involved the plant root here root hairs are three thin hair like structure that extend from the roots of a plant so it is clear that the mechanism of mineral absorption in plant involve two parts one is active part and other is inactive part in case of active part plant root here directly involved in case of inactive part plant root is not directly involved this inactive process involve the pool of transpiration so today i am uh, completing my lecture thank you